In this video, I'm sharing five text formatting hacks that will make your Excel spreadsheets look more professional than ever. We'll cover techniques like rotating headers, splitting cells, and more. Let's check them out. First up is splitting a cell diagonally. Instead of choosing between labeling the top left cell of your data table as the column header or row header, you can actually include both using a split cell. For example, here we have annual sales data by region. Instead of choosing between labeling the top left cell as region or year, we can include both by splitting the cell diagonally. To do this, first we need to enter the header for the columns followed by the header for the rows on the next line within the cell. So I'm going to type year, then press Alt Enter to insert a new line within the cell and then type region. Now that we've entered our headers on separate lines, we need to position the headers so that they are in opposite corners of the cell. Since we're splitting the cell from top to bottom, we need to move the column header to the top right corner by entering spaces in front of the header. The final step is to add the diagonal border to split the cell. Press Ctrl-1 to open the Format Cells dialog box, open the Borders tab, and select the diagonal border that goes from top to bottom. Press OK to save the changes, and we've successfully split the cell into two sections and have both the row and column header in the top left corner of our data table. Next up is rotating text. Rotating text is a great way to clean up your worksheet by removing unnecessary space in your cells caused by long data headers. For example, here we have an attendance tracker that tracks which students attend each day of class. As you can see, there's a lot of unnecessary space within our data table because the length of our headers is much wider than our checkboxes. This is a perfect opportunity to rotate our headers. To do this, select all of the headers, open the orientation dropdown on the Home tab, and select your desired rotation. I personally like to select the angle counterclockwise orientation to angle the headers at a 45 degree angle so that they are still easy to read. Last but not least, we need to autofit the columns to remove all the unnecessary space by clicking the top left corner of the worksheet and double clicking between any of the columns. Much better. Next up is Center Across Selection. Center Across Selection centers text across multiple cells just like merge cells do, but without any of the issues that merge cells cause. For example, here we want to center this title across our data table. Most people would merge cells, but merging cells is bad practice and creates a lot more problems than it's worth. If you want to learn more about why merge cells are problematic, check out our YouTube video on it linked in the caption below. So instead of merging, we can center the text across all of the cells by selecting the text followed by the cells you want to center the text across, pressing Ctrl-1, navigating to the Alignment tab, and selecting Center Across Selection under the Horizontal Group. Press OK to save these changes, and now our title is perfectly centered across our data table. Tip number four is Wrap Text. Wrap Text wraps long text strings into multiple lines so that all the text is visible within the cell. For example, here we have product descriptions that are getting cut off because they're too long to fit within the cell width. Instead of having columns that are extremely wide that you won't even be able to read, we can wrap the text into multiple lines within the cell. To wrap text, select the text you want to wrap and click Wrap Text on the Home tab. Now each description fits into the cell width by wrapping it into as many lines as needed to fit within the column's width. You can also adjust the number of lines that your text spans by increasing or decreasing the column width. This is much better than scrolling to the right to have to read each description. Last but not least is shrink to fit. If you don't want to wrap your text into multiple lines, but still want all the text to be visible within the cell, shrink to fit is your solution. Here we have employee names, and as you can see, some of them are too long to fit in our data table. Instead of adjusting the column width or wrapping them into multiple lines, we can use shrink to fit to adjust the font size to fit within the cell. To shrink text to fit within a cell, select the data, press Ctrl-1, open the alignment tab, check shrink to fit, Fit and hit OK. As you can see, the size of the employee names automatically adjusted to fit within the cell. And here's the cool part. If the column width changes, the text size automatically adjusts to fit perfectly within the cell. And there you have it, five text formatting tricks that will instantly make your Excel spreadsheets look more professional. Which one will you try first? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel for more Excel tips.